Hi everybody, it's Luke here from Beer Tech and Breathing Design, where tech and design collide with extra beard. Happy New Year, guys. I hope you had a really good Christmas as well. We've been on a huge break. I'm back with some more content. Today, we're checking out a free graphic design tool, extremely similar to Canva. And there's a superb free alternative that I have found that not many people talk about out there in the design world or social media world. And it's called designer with a Y in the middle. So designer with a Y. Now this is a stellar, really full featured app for Android uh, as also a desktop client as well. We're going to check out the desktop version today. Free templates for any social media size, YouTube thumbnails, uh, Pinterest, blog posts, email headers, print materials, anything you can think of you can design with designer and it's just as easy to use as Canva and I actually found this because Canva stopped working on my phone a little while ago when they did an update and it said it won't work on my version of Android anymore even though my version of Android is really recent so I'm not sure what's going on there but I will contact them and, and get that back on board so let's jump into this review of designer right now Okay guys, this is Luke from Breathing Designs and Beer Tech here. We are going to jump inside of Android and use Designer. So one of the first things you're going to do is notice the home screen here and the superb layout and look of this thing. And you will see the huge amount of templates available on this app. They are astounding amounts of templates. Even just in social posts here, you've got YouTube, uh, Snapchat, uh, Tumblr, Pinterest, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Stories, and Instagram. And you've got headers of all kinds here for all of your social media. You've got ads, you've got web banners, email banners, flyers, posters, presentations, business cards, letters, newsletters, book covers, certificates and price lists, invoices, menus, resumes, invitations, greeting cards, vision boards, planners, postcards, fun stuff, album covers, and you can add your own format. So this is a gigantic amount of stuff that you can do here. So we might design an album cover, that could be fun. And all of your templates that are available for free uh, don't have a lock on them. So if it's got a lock on it, uh, don't use it unless you want the premium account. If there is no lock on it, then go ahead and edit to your heart's content. And there's some pretty jolly good designs in here from Designer available from the outset. And editing them is an absolute snap. It's super easy. Usually when you scroll to the bottom, things start to get um, just all locked. So just go create new project with this design and you'll be presented with the design that you can edit. And it's as simple as clicking on stuff uh, to edit. Uh, you can drag, you can pinch and zoom, you can rotate even with your fingers. And as a Canva alternative, I'll link in the card and the description to Canva, this is incredibly good. Now I've clicked on the picture here. All you have to do is press replace and you can go searching for any picture online that you wish. Um, and this will pull up thousands and thousands of free images. So I might just go architect or architecture. We'll see what comes up to replace this background image. And we might be able to get something stunning that will suit uh, an album cover. So if we click on that one right there, it will replace it and even resize it accordingly. Look at that. As it's loading up there, that will resize for us in the background and we already have a really cool looking album design. Now text editing, there's a few options available. You can deselect, you can duplicate, so copy it, you can delete it straight away, edit the text, the font, the font size, the fill color, which is the color of the font, the opacity, which is the transparency, uh, the text style, where it's aligned, the spacing of the letters, uh, you can lock it so it doesn't move, rotate it, uh, and layer order, which just changes so you can send it to the back of the very uh, design so you can't see it. Uh, you have that white box in front instead or you can bring it to the front. So let's change what it says 
Uh, so we'll write flight pattern. That could be a cool album design. Click out of it and now we have that. And then we go fill color. We might change this to a darker red. And then again, there's another text box underneath. If I can get there. If you can't, just move the text, then click on it. There it is. So you go edit text. Editing away there. That's my band name for my solo project on SoundCloud. Flight pattern by breath or failure. Now, looks stellar, right? Looks good. And if you want to change anything like rotating, uh, you can actually just click that right there. And it will rotate. There you go. So you just click that rotate button, use your finger to rotate where you wish. So I could change that to about there. Then you've got a really obscure looking uh, album cover. And it's as easy as that. Look at that. I love it. Now, there's a lot more you can do as well with the dots here. So this is how you export everything. So you can resize uh, to a different format. So you can actually design stuff here and export it as a different size. You can change your template. You can save changes and go back again. You can cancel. You can also export from there. Uh, I'll just show you though some of the elements you can add. So you can add another text box and they have an incredible amount of text banners here. Look at this. Thinking of sales and like wedding invitations, uh, you know, just general ads. See, so you've got all the sales stuff. You've got um, little greetings for Christmas. You've got holidays. You've got like hairdresser ads here. Huge amount of features. Again, this is just a free app and you can do all of this free, edit those as you wish, change all of the texts in them. Uh, it's absolutely incredible what you can do with this thing. It's really, um, really, really worth looking at. Now, go back again. What I wanted to show you was adding elements. Now these are stickers as well as shapes, right? You can put these behind text. You can add these uh, as like pointers in tutorials or you're showing a price of something, someone speaking, uh, highlighting something with an explosion. That's what you'd do there. You can add your own logo. If you've created a logo, you can actually add it into that folder. And stickers here, and again, if we just add like, uh, let's add an arrow. You can actually change the color of it. So do the same exact red that's there, change the size, rotate it as before, okay, change the opacity like that. And as I said before, you can rotate and you can also chop up these designs to make them a little bit more your own. And the way you would do that, uh, it's a bit hard with a colored background but you could just add other elements or shapes over the top so if I just go with a try uh, a rectangle here change the size of it a little and change the opacity you've got a little just a cool element over the top of your shape that will work to make it your own and it will slice out a bit of your picture. You can change the order of that, to send it to the back so it's behind this. And that's one way to make things your own is to think of a concept, right? So you think of an arrow like this going around, you could chop this into three. So using three rectangles in a row, you could cut it, put a triangle there, you could put it in inside of another circle, just to make it your own instead of it just being a copied and pasted element. So again, this flight pattern album could have this, these couple of elements as their thing, or even as a band uh, symbol. You could just keep that as your band logo, okay? 
You can just pinch and zoom to rotate in and out. Again, this is a really high res image. And I'm going to show you exporting now. So you press export. What happens is you get the option to do a, a, a JPEG even with a transparent background or a, a sorry, a PNG or a JPEG. Uh, so I'll go to download. You can share it straight from here as well. I'll click on download. You can actually download it as a PDF, even a high res one for printing, right? That will make a really super high res image. You can go transparent background on and off and JPEG, the actual quality of the JPEG, which is more for web and general use. PNGs for uh, a high quality image. It's a much better image uh, than a JPEG. So I'll go as a PNG, download, and it will save it straight to your camera roll. And then you can actually just open up social media, right? As soon as you've opened up and want to share a picture, this is the first one that will come up. So if I exit here, let's jump straight into Instagram and check this out. This is how quick this is. I've just designed an album cover. Press plus, go to gallery, and there's my picture. And look how good that looks. Okay, that could be an album cover that you're sharing instantly to Instagram. Again, this is just one way to make an album cover. There are hundreds and hundreds of templates on here to design with. And this is a crucial thing for making really good looking social images for your social media. So again, it's the same with Facebook here. If you just click here and click photo, so we'll share a photo the first one there. You've got an album cover. Press done. And there's a high quality PNG on Facebook. Completely optimized, edited for free using Designer. So I highly recommend this program. It's easy to use. It's free. There's so much editing you can do. There's heaps of deep dive stuff you can do in here. I mean, you can do a whole menu for a business. You can do an entire branded uh, kit that you use to launch a new YouTube channel. You can do your ebook on this thing. You can even write your ebook using it and just uh, merge the PDFs together uh, using small PDF, another program I've used to edit my wife's book, which is coming out soon uh, this month. So again, designer with a Y. Not many people talk about this, but it's a super good Canva alternative. I've been Luke from Breathing Designs Beer Tech. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to visit our Patreon, patreon.com slash beardtechman to support the channel and keep the work and mission of beard tech going to make budget tech and design for everybody, for their business or pleasure. Thank you very much, guys. Have beardtastic fun. Don't forget to check out my course as well, Essential Video Editing. If you want to edit like a pro using 10 really short lessons that are really, really fun that I've designed just for you and your business. Thank you very much. I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers.